So I'm here to end our brief break from algorithms. Uh, this was joint work with Peter and Elizabeth from the Elephant Listening Project. So this is going to be the computational side of the last presentation. So let's imagine that I have a forest uh, clearing presented down here, and there's elephants that gather at this forest clearing. I have a recording device here, which I'm going to use to monitor the elephant population. And I get a sound wave, such as the one pictured above. And now my goal is to automatically identify all of the elephant calls here. Well, what does that exactly mean? Let's zoom in on a small section of that spectrogram that I showed you here. So to identify the elephant calls, the simplest possible thing I could do is to take this small segment and determine whether or not there is any call on this small segment. This is a simple binary classification task. I'm going to assume that I have labeled ground truth data, which I can use to train a model, which luckily in the case of the elephant listening project, we do. And this would give me some amount of information. And this is pretty straightforward. But I want to get a little bit more information out of this, make it a little bit less coarse. So I could extend this and make it a simple regression problem now, determining when the beginning and the end are of the elephant call sounds. But this still isn't giving me the full picture of what's going on. If you take a look at this waveform, there's two distinct sets of lines, and this corresponds to two elephants making calls. If I'm trying to build a population model based off of this data, I need to know that there are two elephants here, not just one. And so for that, I now need to detect the individual calls in this data. And now this, I need to unmix the signal that I have here, and this is becoming a much more complex machine learning problem. I'm going to touch on one more uh, other problem that we encountered when we were trying to build a, a classifier here. Because we have a lot of different uh, locations where we are gathering the data, there are lots of different varieties of background sounds. So for example, at the Jobo location down at the bottom, there was lots of heavy wind, uh, rains and wind gusts. In the middle, there were lots of vehicles and logging sounds because it's close to a road. And this is OK because we have uh, ground truth data for each of these locations. But now, as Peter said, we want to scale up. And that we're going to now encounter new sounds that we're not going to have ground truth labels for. So we need to be able to adapt our classifiers to unknown sounds. So these are just some of the challenges we encountered. And for more information, come visit our poster. Thank you.